Canisto. Canisto will play it across the blue line. D to D for Forney. 28 seconds left on the power play. Forney pulls back and drops it off to Canisto in the middle of the blue line. Right wing half wall, it's McNulty. Down low, it's Amarado to the net. Kicks it. Rebound, another chance. They score! Chris Forney on the back door puts it away. It's 1-0. Well, it's not the first time we've seen Chris Forney be able to just sneak his way down to about the dot from the point. And he just gets almost down to the goal line on this one after Amarado brought on the delayed penalty. Drap luck down in the corner to Crom. Crom to the half wall. Spins it up to Canisto. Canisto, one-timer, drap luck, and he partially fanned on it. Here in the circles, McKee scores! Mike McKee snuck it in through a screen on the delayed penalty. It's 2-0. Tulsa 349 into the game. Well, it's just heads up hockey by everybody there, just making sure that they realize that they had the extra man. They wanted to wait and take the right opportunity. Down, and this Oilers is another opportunity on the power play. I already have one goal, the opening one. Tulsa won the face-off shot from Draplock through a screen, knocked down by Kanata, loose puck in the slot. Now Bredo, back door, they score! Roman Amarato has goals in back-to-back -back games. His third goal in the last four, and it's 3-0. And with the assist he's had here tonight as well, he's got four points in those four games. And just hanging out by the goal line, he's got a wide open. It's Davis, D to D, actually it's Rattel in the high slot. Now Ottenbright, left circle, shoots one to the crease, save, Kesserich, rebound, Carroll, and Kesserich another save. Out of the box is Pleskatch, he's got a breakaway. Pleskatch in, left circle, Pleskatch with forehand, and he scores! The 36th of the year for Pleskatch, hopping out of the penalty box and beating Kanata. A minute into the third period, it's 4-0. Yeah, a minute flat. And just great awareness there to realize that clearance was coming and hugging the boards all the way up. Tonight against the third ranked power play in the ECHL coming in. 14-20 left in the third period, 4-0 Tulsa. Shots are 30-17 to in favor of the Oilers. Plus catch to the line. Bredo D to D, Phillips right point, his shot, they score! There was traffic cutting through the eyes of Kanata and Hanniger might have got a piece of it. They came from way outside on the shot from Phillips and it's 5-0. I, I certainly think it took a deflection. I'm not sure who it was, if it was a Grizzly or if it was Henniger, but Phillips is gonna. Henniger will take the center ice draw. It's now 5-0 Tulsa. Henniger won the face off, promptly took a cross check from Herbert. Dumped in from center by Crom. Herbert back to gather it behind the net. Big collision back behind the cage. Crom feeds it out front. McKee scores again. Second of the game for Mike McKee. It's his first professional two goal game and it's 6-0. Once again, he's just in the right place in the right time. A bounce takes off, and he gets it. He's, he's going to be jumped from behind yeah, here. He said something, and it's jumped for it. Left in the third period. Turned over at center. Cardi back ahead to McKee one last time. Left wing side. McKee muscles his way behind the net. Threw it off a stick. Off the side of the net. Final six seconds. Five seconds as it's lifted off the glass. The Tulsa Oilers will shut out the Utah Grizzlies. Six to nothing for the weekend sweep, and the Oilers are in first place in the Mountain Division with one week left in the regular season. We'll come back with our post-game wrap-up.